10 years after being accused of killing his wife, the case against a couple layman remains in limbo. In a very unusual case, prosecutors now say they have a new theory about the death of Charlene Wakisaka, and they've got a ruling in their favor today. KITV4's Daryl Huff joins us live now to explain. Daryl? Kenneth Wakisaka has always denied killing his wife, Polly, even after a jury convicted him of killing her with some kind of rope or cord. In the years since, evidence has gone missing, and the prosecutor has been forced to reinvestigate to try and finally end this mystery. Now, this is a, a tough matter. A major understatement from Judge Stephen Ahm, who has ordered the state not to recharge Kenneth Wakisaka with murder until legal issues clouding the case are resolved. Eight years ago, Wakisaka was convicted of strangling his wife, Shirlene, in their home. He claimed she died from an overdose of medicine and alcohol. His conviction was overturned seven years ago because of prosecutor and judge errors. And the limbo continues. The prosecutor admitting he no longer believes Shirlene was strangled with a rope or cord the way the first jury was told. They have no other theory or evidence or witnesses to move forward on any other theory at this point. I agree with you. That appears to be where the state of the evidence is right now. As Wakisaka remains free without new charges, the prosecutor has done more investigation and says he now does have enough to prosecute again. My theory would probably be murder by omission or manslaughter by omission, which is a different theory, which I think is supported by the evidence. The judge took a step to clearing the way for those new charges today, ruling that it's okay for prosecutors to keep pursuing a case, even if they present a different scenario of death to the new jury. If it ever comes back, it's a clean slate. The next hurdle for prosecutors, an allegation from the defense that the judge's order to turn over evidence has not been followed and that the evidence indeed may have been lost or destroyed, Paula.